hello guys welcome to another video in this video we're going to learn about the diagnostic horizons diagnostic horizons are uh, and layer in soil taxonomy a soil horizon is a layer that is commonly parallel to the soil surface in some orders such as jelly salts, bharti salts and spodosols however horizons are not always parallel to the surface a horizon has some set of properties that have been produced by soil forming processes and it has some properties that are not like those of layers directly above and beneath it diagnostic surface horizons the epipedon the epipedon uh, is a horizon that forms at or near the surface and in which most of the rock structure has been destroyed it is darkened by organic matter or shows evidence of evaluation alluvation or both rock structure as used here and in other places in this taxonomy includes fine stratification less than 5 mm in unconsolidated sediments here is the diagnostic surface horizons surface horizons are anthropic epipedon folistic epipedon histic epipedon melanic epipedon molic epipedon ochric epipedon plagen epipedon and last one is ambric epipedon uh, in this video we are going to learn about this surface horizons in briefly so let's get started first one is anthropic epipedon the anthropic epipedon has same limits as the molic epipedon in color structure and organic carbon content it formed during long continued use of the soil by humans either as a place of residence or as a site of growing irrigated crops in arid regions, some long irrigated soils have an epipedon that is like the molic epipedon in most chemical and physical properties. The properties of epipedon in these areas are clearly consequence of irrigation by humans. The next one is polistic epipedon. The polistic epipedon consists of organic material unless the soil has been plowed. This epipedon normally is at soil surface although it can be buried buried polistic epipedons occur primarily in cool humid regions of the old this is only found in the mineral soils then next one is histic epipedon histic epipedon consists of organic soil material uh, peat or mark if the soil has not been plowed if the soil has been plowed, the epipedon normally has a high content of organic matter that results from mixing organic soil material with some mineral material. The histic epipedon either is characterized by saturation and reduction for some time in normal years or has been artificially drained. It is normally at the soil surface although it can be buried. The next one is melanic epipedon. Melanic epipedon is a thick, dark colored, commonly black horizon at or near the soil surface. It has high concentration of organic carbon generally associated with short range order minerals, aluminum, humus complexes. The intense dark colors are attributed to the accumulation of organic matter from which type A humid acids are extracted. Then next one is molic epipedon. Molic epipedon is relatively thick, dark colored, humus rich surface horizon uh, in which bivalent cations are dominant on the exchange complex and grade of structure uh, is weak to strong. These properties are common in the soils of the steppes in Americas, Europe and Asia. The next one is ochric epipedon. The ochric epipedon fails to meet the definitions for any of the other seven epipedons because it it is too thin or too dry has too high a color value or chroma contains too little organic carbon has too high and uh, n value or melanic index or is both massive uh, and hard or harder when dry then 
नेक्स्ट वन इज प्लाजेन एपिपेडोन प्लाजेन एपिपेडोन इज ए ह्यूमन मेड सार्फेल लेयर सार्फेस लेयर फिफ्टी सेंटीमिटार और मोर थिक दैट हेज बीन प्रड्यूस बै लंग कंटिन्यूड मैन्यूरिंग इन मेडिएभल टाइम्स शर्ट और अदार मेटेरियल कमनलि आर यूज फर बेडिंग लाइफ स्टक एंड द मैन्यूर अज स्प्रेड ऑन द फिल्ड बी कल्टिवेटेड देन नेक्स्ट वन इज आमरिक एपिपेडोन आमरिक एपिपेडोन इज ए रिलेटिवली थिक डार्क कलार्ड ह्यूमस रिच सार्फेस हरिजन्स और हरिजन्स इट कैन नट बी डिस्टिंग बै द आई फ्रम ए मलिक एपिपेडोन बाट लैबरेटरि स्टाडिज शो दैट द बेस्ट सैचुरेशन इज लेस दैन फिफ्टी पार्सेंट इन साम और ऑल पार्ट सो दैट वज द पार्ट अफ सार्फेस डायगनोस्टिक हरिजन नाउ वी आर गोईंग टू लार्न एबाउट द सब सार्फेस डायगनोस्टिक हरिजन्स डायगनोस्टिक सब सार्फेस हरिजन्स एंड द डायगनोस्टिक सब सार्फेस हरिजन्स आर एग्रिक हरिजन एलबिक हरिजन आर्जिलिक हरिजन कैलसिक हरिजन कैम्बिक हरिजन डुरिपियान फ्राजिपियान ग्लसिक हरिजन जिपसिक हरिजन कैंडिक हरिजन नैट्रिक हरिजन अक्सिक हरिजन पेट्रोकैलसिक प्लैसिक सैलिक्स सम्रिक स्पोडिक एलबिक एंड लास्टन इज पार्माफ्रस्ट Uh, we are going to learn about this uh, subsurface horizon since briefly so let's get started first one is agric horizon agric horizon is an alluvial horizon that has formed under cultivation and contains significant amounts of alluvial silt clay and humus when a soil is brought under cultivation the vegetation and soil fauna as a rule are changed drastically the plow layer is mixed periodically and in effect a new cycle of soil formation is started the next one is albic horizon the albic horizon is an alluvial horizon on centimeter or more thick that has 85% or more albic materials uh, it generally occurs below below an a horizon Uh, but may be a mineral soil surface then next one is argillic horizon argillic horizon is normally subsurface horizon with a significantly higher percentage of uh, phyllosilicate clay than the overlaying of uh, over soil material it shows evidence of clay elevation the argillic horizon forms below the soil surface but it may be exposed at the surface later by erosion The next one is calcic horizon. Calcic horizon is an alluvial horizon in which secondary calcium carbonate or other carbonates have been accumulated to a significant extent. Calcic horizon must be 15 cm or more thick. They must have 15% calcium carbonate equivalent and either have at, at least 5% more calcium carbonate equivalent than the underlying horizon. then the uh, cambic horizon uh, cambic horizon is the result of physical alteration chemical transformation or removals of or of a combination of two or more these processes the cambic horizon is a commonly uh, subsurface horizon it is normally lies in the position of a b horizon and in most pedons is considered to be a b horizon but it can be include some a e and trans transitional horizons then next one is duripian A durian, uh, duras hard meaning hard pan, is a subsurface horizon that is cemented by alluvial silica to the degree that has less the less than 50 percent of the volume of air dry fragments, slake in water during prolonged soaking in acid. Uh, genesis of durian, uh, durians occur mostly in soils with a xeric uh, or aridic moisture regime. that is uh, in soils that are seasonally dry or usually dry most soils that have a duripian have a moisture regime in which soluble silica might be expected to be translocated in to lower horizons but not out of the soils then next one is fragipian fragipian uh, means modified from uh, fragile brittle and pan meaning brittle pan is an altered subsurface horizon 15 cm or more thick that restricts the entry of water and roots into the soil matrix it may but does not necessarily underline an argillic cambic albic or spodic horizon it is commonly within an argillic horizon but some are within an albic horizon the next one is glossic horizon glossic horizon develops as a result of the degradation of an argillic candic or natric horizon from which clay and free iron oxides are removed the material between pads resulting from this removal is albic material then next one is 
Gypsy horizon. Gypsy horizon is an alluvial horizon in which secondary gyp gypsum has accumulated to a significant ex extent. Most gypsy horizons occur in arid environments where the parent materials are rich in gypsum. In soils that have be, uh, ground uh, water near the surface, capillary rise and evaporation plus transpiration can result in significant accumulation of gypsum. The next one is candic horizon. Candic horizon is a subsurface horizon that has a significantly higher percentage of clay than the overlying horizon. Then next one is natric horizon. Natric uh, horizon means modified form of natrium sodium implying the presence of sodium. Horizon is a special kind of argillic horizon. The dispersive properties of sodium accelerate clay elevation research has shown that natric horizons from in uh, Holocene age soils even in arid or semi-arid environments. Then next one is oxic horizon. The oxic horizon is a mineral subsurface horizon of a sandy loam or finer, finer texture with a low cation exchange capacity and a low content of uh, witherable minerals. It is l at least 30 cm thick. Then next one is um, Petrocalcic horizon. Petrocalcic horizon is an alluvial horizon in which secondary calcium carbonate or other carbonates have been accumulated to the extent that the horizon is cemented or indurated. Then next one is plastic horizon. Plastic horizon means base of plaques, flat stone meaning a thin cemented pan. Uh, is thin black or uh, black to dark reddish pan that is cemented by iron and organic matter. Uh, it is generally between 2 and uh, 10 mm thick but may as may be as thin as 1 mm. Then next one is salic horizon. Salic horizon is a horizon of accumulation of salts that are more soluble than uh, gypsum in cold water. A common salt is halide, the uh, crystalline uh, form of sodium chloride. Then sombric horizon. Sombric horizon means sombre dark is a uh, subsurface horizon in mineral soils that has formed under free drainage. It contains alluvial humus that is neither associated with aluminium as is the humus in the sporic horizon not dispersed by sodium as is common in the natric horizon. Then next one is sporic horizon. Sporic horizon is an alluvial layer with 85% or more sporic materials. Uh, sporic materials contain alluvial active amorphous materials composed of organic matter and aluminium with or without iron. Then next one is albic materials. Albic means uh, albus white. Materials are soils materials with a color that is largely determined by the color of primary sand and sealed particles rather than by the color of their coatings. This definition implies that clay uh, uh, or free iron oxides have been removed from the materials or that the oxides have been uh, segregated uh, to such an extent that the color of the materials is largely determined by the color of the primary particles. Then next one is uh, last one is permafrost. Permafrost is defined as a thermal condition in which a material uh, including soil material remains below 0 degree Celsius to for uh, two or more years in uh, uh, succession. Those gelic uh, materials having uh, permafrost contain the unfrozen soil uh, solution that derives um, cryopedogenic, uh, cryopedogenic process. So uh, that was the um, part of subsurface origin. So uh, this is uh, surface diagnostic surface origin and subsurface origin. That's all for today. Uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.